All right, so everyone is talking about AI right now, but nobody actually knows what they're talking about. And what I mean by that is that everyone is talking about the new software, the new feature, and Google adding this and Microsoft adding this, but they're not talking about the business models that you can use. So when you're watching these videos, you still are left feeling overwhelmed and you don't know which business to start and how to leverage AI to make money with it. So what's the point of you utilizing something that yes, helps you creatively, if it won't make you any money. So let's talk about some of the business models out there and the new version that I think is gonna take over, leaving the other ones to potentially even lose their job. And I'm dead serious when I say that. So let's dive in. The first business that a lot of people are thinking of first is like copywriting, because there's always, you know, there's been VSL copywriters, email copywriters, blog copywriters, uh, YouTube video script writers, and all of these people benefit from AI for sure. They do, but also is that what is actually gonna be the best business model for you to start? Is it gonna be the best AI agency to start just offering copywriting? In my opinion, you're selling something that could be 90% automated with a really good AI tool, especially if you're learning from someone who's developed formulas and framework for how to write the copy by feeding the right information, then prompt engineering, and actually knowing how to take something, take a brand, create an AI persona, and then be able to write whatever copy you want with the click of a few buttons, right? So that is not the best one. So which one is better than just selling copywriting as a service? Is it website building? Because now you say, oh, actually, I'll build a website for someone and I'll offer copywriting, but also design. So I do the technical stuff that they don't want to do. And in my opinion, it's better than copywriting. But still, what happens with all these tools that can offer one click, one prompt, it creates a landing page for someone. So now you have Dolly, you have Mid Journey, you have all of these design and branding and art generative uh, softwares that are able to create the visuals. So now you have text plus visual and there's tools. Remember, these tools and solutions have been launched the last couple of months. What happens in six months from now? So you don't wanna start a business that is here today and gone in six months. You wanna have a business that is growing with this trend so that no matter what happens in AI, you're still able to get clients and to work with them long-term. So my perspective isn't visual versus written, it's offering everything as a growth partner. And here's what I mean by that and why it's so big. First of all, let's take a look at the market right now when it comes to education. People are moving from traditional education, they're moving into self-education and learning from someone who's actually done what they want to do, right? We're learning from YouTubers, we're watching people, we're listening to podcasts, and we're learning so much from people who are talking about the sharing from their own real life experience. As a matter of fact, I dropped out of college because the teacher didn't have a business and I was trying to learn business. And now I've invested over 100,000 into multiple different coaches and experts at one specific topic to then go out and build my own business. And as I learn these things faster because of other people, I've been able to get uh, you know, my own experience and now I'm able to share that with you. So that whole in industry is changing and with that comes a lot of new businesses. In fact, there's millions of new businesses created every year. So who are they buying from? If they're not, if they're not buying from you, your chances are that you're probably offering a commodity service. I'll give you another example. A friend of mine who's a video editor, he said, hey, why am I not getting a lot of short form video clients? And I said, Bro, if you saw my Instagram DMs, you'd see that I get messages every, not like every second day. So I get multiple per week, which means that everyone else is getting the same messages too. And you're a commodity and it's a race to the bottom. So what if you, instead of just like with copy and design, offering a growth service, what if instead of selling video editing, you would sell video planning, video scripting, SEO, thumbnails, long form and short form. And then you would be able to sell something that's like the ideas for the videos. Here's the script. You go in and add your own human touch to it, but you don't start fresh. And so therefore you're very unique. You can charge more for it, double at least. He's like, that's very interesting. In fact, he's not a funnel builder. He's not a funnel designer. He's not a marketer. He's a video editor, but he took my course full-time funnel designer. And he said the offer creation module alone helped me improve my offer that much more. So now which business is best for you? No matter the industry that you're in, it's the one that helps your clients make more money by doing everything for them in that sense, in that industry, in that element, in that department of the business. For me, instead of selling websites, 
or selling copywriting, I sell a complete sales funnel system, which means that a business needs what? They need leads, customers, and clients. So I don't sell websites or pages. I sell a system from the free offer that they have to the highest backend offer that they have. Let's say it's consulting and a free ebook. What's in between those? No matter if it's a course or consulting or if it's a merch or e-commerce, whatever it is that they sell, I take care of everything for them. Now we're growth partners. They don't have to do, they can focus on serving their audience, which if they're a podcaster, they don't wanna be building everything. They might not even have time to study marketing and sales funnels, right? They don't wanna go through courses to learn conversion rate optimization because they wanna do podcasting. So now they hire you to come in, be a growth partner with them and with tools like ChatGPT. In fact, I just released recently a new module in our program and the reason I'm sharing this is because I've spent over 100 hours now studying marketing frameworks, copywriting legends, and just understanding how to leverage a really good technology and then what the pieces are that I need to implement with it to get brand specific and offer specific sales copy. I call it the ultimate sales page formula. So any sales page, there's like the 13 different piece with seven different elements that you have to have in place to have a set system you go through Here's what context the AI model needs. Here's the offer. Here's why we're different. And then you go through the bullet points of everything that you need to have a high converting sales page. So now, instead of people going out there and learning AI and studying marketing and actually understanding what makes people buy, they just hire me to build a funnel for them and do everything for them. And I can build a team of people doing most of the work, like technical stuff and being in the editor and doing stuff like that because I'm the CEO and the growth partner helping them grow their business with sales funnels. Therefore, they pay me high ticket. They don't want me to leave because I'm actually valuable to their business no matter what happens with AI. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions on how this work, reach out or comment below. Check us out with all our assets and the course and everything uh, in the description and uh, we'll talk soon.